Hello and Namaste. Welcome to the session. In today's practice, we'll be actually exploring balance. Yes, the grounding practice will help you explore your balance. My suggestion to you in today's practice is to do as much as you can. Find the spot that can help you balance. And of course, we're going to use a block. So if you don't have block, get a water bottle. A water bottle will do the job of the block because we're just using one block today. Yes, let's get started. Sit up nice and tall. Let's join our palms at heart center. Let's chant one beautiful Om sound together. Inhale. Oh. Set one simple intention for this beautiful day and the practice. So clear with it, gently relax your hands. Inhale, draw your shoulders all the way up till your ears. Let it go all the way up, up, up. Hold it. Let all the stress, all the tension, all the tiredness from the day accumulate on top of the shoulder and open your mouth and let go. <sighs> One more time, inhale, draw your shoulders all the way up, 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 higher, hold it, hold, 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 and release, let go. One last time, inhale, all the way up, hold, hold, hold. And let go. <sighs> Sit in stillness. And slowly take your time to open your eyes. Lovely. Let's come up into all fours from here. All right. When we are at all fours, let's just close our eyes and just check are your shoulders and wrists in one line without opening your eyes, just with your awareness. Check are your hips and knees are in one line. Trying to have that mental image about yourself about how you are in the physical state. From your inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, contract and look down. Inhale, arch and up. Keep the eyes closed, exhale. Continue with this moment this movements and the eyes are closed trying to see how much of your spine can you feel trying to understand each and every vertebrate with this contraction and expansion now we're going to continue this movement and we're going to add the head to it just rotating the head. As your head goes up, your body arches. As your head goes down, the body contracts. And reverse it. Try to coordinate the movement with the breath. And relax from your you just gonna take your right leg on the right side in line with the hips let your back arch as much as you can keep the leg and the hip in one line let the back arch look up and just stay breathe try to feel the regions where your 
feeling the stretch, try to pass your breath there. Now slowly you're gonna come back to neutral spine, lifting up this leg for 10 times, slowly. One, and just tap it to the floor. Two, good, keep the weight on the right hand. Three, four, five, six, do as much as you can. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, slowly take the leg back in the air. Lift it as high as you can and arch up. Lift it as high as you can, look up, arch your back, stay. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly get the knees ahead in front of you. Walk your hands slightly ahead. Drop your knees between the palms. Lift up your body, roll the shoulders back, and stay. Breathe. Slowly press the palms. Lift up and go back. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, so I'm just going to turn around. You're going to take your left leg outside, arch your back and stay there for some time. Just dive down deep into the feeling of your breath. How is your breath making you feel? What are the areas that you feel your body is helping you stretch? And how many areas can you send your breath? Our inner world is quite interesting. Allow yourself to be absorbed by it. Let's go up into lifting 10 times slowly. One, make sure your weight is still on the left hand. Two, good. Three, four, five, six, it's easy to shift the weight on the right hand, but try and shift the weight on the left. Seven, eight, nine, lovely. 10, keep your face relaxed when you're doing this. Take the leg back, arch up as much as you can. Arch up, breathe. Slowly walk your knees ahead between the palms. Stretch your back leg straight. If you want to curl the back feet, that's also okay. If you want to keep the back feet relaxed, that's also okay. Shoulders back. Hands relax. Breathe. Slowly come back into all fours. Okay, from here we're just gonna walk our hands slightly ahead and go into Anahata pose, which is the heart melting posture, also known as puppy pose. Breathe there. If you can place your forehead, that's fine. If you place if you can place your chin, that's amazing. Wherever your body is allowing you. If you want to slide slightly more ahead to intensify it, you can do that.
slowly press your elbow, shift your weight ahead. Just turn your elbow and we are going to turn to the side. We are going to come into side plank. Shift and transition into side plank. Get your knees and hips in one line. We are still holding the knee on the floor. Yeah. From here the other feet is planted down on the floor. Make sure you keep a straight line and stretch this arm out. Okay, whosoever finds this challenging enough, stay here. And if you want to intensify it, plant your right feet so left feet so strongly down that you can start lifting your other hand up. It's slightly tricky. Yes, try. If you want, want to use a cushion, you can do that. Breathe. Use your obliques. Your obliques should fire up here. Don't arch your back and stay. One. Two, three, four, whew, five, come on, six, seven, and eight. Slowly release. From there, just stretch it out. Let your back arch slightly and let your gaze shift at your fingertips. Breathe. Slowly, come back to the floor, same thing on the other side, I'm just going to rotate, you can do it facing backwards, that's also fine. Again, check with your knee and hip in line, shoulder wrist in line, plant your right feet nicely, strongly down, stretch your arms out, stay here if this is enough for you, and if you need a little more challenge, adjust and try to pull yourself up. One. Two, three, whew, four, five, six. If you're in the right position, you'll feel the work happening. Seven and eight. Slowly release. Let your back arch. Let your body stretch slightly and breathe. Slowly come back down, come back to all fours from where we started, alright, now what we're going to do is, we're going to do this movement where you're stretching side and side, but you're doing this in all fours, okay, so come to all fours, turn your head to the right side, hip also to the right side, stay there, stretch for some time, again, other side, Switch, switch, okay now you're going to do the same thing but add the opposite leg. So lift your left leg up, place it on the right side and take your head also on the right side. So full stretch to the lateral length. Center, take your right leg up, place it on the left side. As you place that, shift your gaze and turn your body. Four points are still facing on to the floor. Back center. Come back onto your knees. Sit in Vajrasana. Close your eyes and breathe. Slowly make your way to coming up to standing. Eyes closed, body relaxed, stand still. Find that connection of the floor to the roots of the earth. Reach your head up to the universe. Find your body way much more alive here. And try to calm your breath down. Okay, what we're going to do is you're going to keep one block in front of you like this. Okay, and we're just going to do a few balance work. 
eventually first round you can use the block and later on when you want to remove the block and challenge yourself you can do that we're going to do a sequence of three movements together first one is taking your arms ahead and reaching back in warrior three we all know this okay let's do it with me join me let's go warrior three find the balance try to see if you can engage this back leg so a lot of times when you're staying here you this leg is up but it's not alive so keep it alive as if someone's pushing onto that back leg up okay all right that's about a count now all you're going to do is put the opposite leg opposite hand down okay from here we place your right hand down left hand up so again this is where you need the block if you find it difficult you can place your hands on the block and try to rotate your chest towards your back and try to balance breathe one again back leg alive two chest relax three four and five from here you open your arms to the side come up into center and now switch the arms you'll have to take the block slightly back and open into crescent moon yes Ooh, look up at the palm if you're comfortable one two you're using the same engagement what we did in the side plank on the floor three four and five slowly see if you can take your hands first in the air staying here so take it in the air and with the engagement bend the knee and slowly come up okay we are here from here all you're going to do is straighten the hands and stretch into triangle posture uttita trikonasan just to stretch it out yes look at the arms up and stay breathe yes 5 4 3 2 one slowly come up we're going to do the whole thing on the other side legs together starting with warrior 3 adjust your block again so left leg up arms out balance a little soft bend in those supporting leg is fine at first again back leg more alive feel the work happening on to your hamstring your whole length of the back keep the engagement legs very alive and that's where the count is now opposite hand down which is your left hand down right hand up revolved crescent one side is always different than the other yes energy in the back leg come on i see the back leg going down lift that back leg up yes breathe five four three energy two one first let the both arms be in the air find the balance yes and now slowly drop the right arm down open the four points to the side open your hips try to slowly shift your gaze up and breathe if you want to lower the height of the block you can do that energy in the flying leg energy in the arm and breathe calm yourself down see if you can float your hand in the air stay in this position without the block support and slowly bend the knee let the hands drop straighten the leg and go down into triangle pose look up and breathe slowly inhale come up 
Put your legs together. All right. You're gonna keep your block flat towards you. So don't keep it very vertical. Don't keep it super flat, but somewhere in between and in line, parallel to the front length of your mat. Okay, from here, you're gonna take your right leg up into figure four, like this. Yes, all right. Let's face to the block. Right leg up into figure four. Take your arm up and bend the hips back. It's like squatting back, don't let the knee go ahead. So your chest and your shin to, should come together. Okay, breathe, balance. One, two, see if you can touch the legs to the chest. Three, four, and five. Slowly release the hands down either on the block or onto the floor and stay. Drop your head down, breathe. So my knees are still bent in case if someone doesn't want to do a full forward fold. The knees are bent, it's giving you a good stretch and you can keep your head up. Yes, like that. You don't have to necessarily drop the head down for people with cervical issues and the back issue. Yeah, you can keep your back flat and still stay there and the rest of yours can drop the head down fully. Okay, from here you're gonna bend your elbows, plant your palms down and try to shift the weight on the hands. Watch me again. So what I'm doing is my feet, the leg, this part of the leg, which is creating the figure four, is gonna come like a crow onto the supporting hand and then come back. We're just gonna do this five times. You can lift your toe up if you want, heel up of the supporting leg. Shift the weight ahead and go back. Shift the weight ahead and go back. Last three times, ahead and back, ahead and back. Last one, ahead and back. Slowly come back up, lift up the hips, slowly bend the knee, take your arms up, look at one spot and slowly find your way coming up. Whew, that was a good burn on the leg. Stand still. Chain sides. Let your left leg come up in figure four. Take your arms up. Bend over as low as you can and stay there for five counts. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly drop the hands down. Bend the hip down, yes. Now, make sure when you're doing this, just watch this, don't let this heel slide further back. Be strong on pushing this heel here only and then your hands come here, somewhere here like this. Don't let this leg slide any further down. Let the hands stay here, okay? So, let's do this. Keep your hands ahead. Just the same mechanics of the crow. Push back, lift up the hips slightly, go ahead and back. Go ahead and back. Go ahead and back. You'll have to lift your hips slightly up to go ahead. Okay, let's go. Last two and back. Last one and back. Slowly drop your heel, push your hips up into a forward fold. Bend your knees, find your chair, and slowly come up, legs down, close your eyes and breathe. It's a preparation for Galavasan.
All right, let's try this posture now. Come down seated. Take 10 seconds to breathe by keeping your arms up. Head up, just relax. Alright, let's understand the basics of the posture. So first things first, get into figure 4. Let's get seated into figure 4. Okay, from here, you're going to place your, so the right leg is into figure 4. Place your left hand under this. You see this hook of your ankle, you have to place the right hand, left hand under the hook of the ankle and left hand here. Okay, try this. My bad, left hand goes to the hook of the ankle, right hand goes to the shin and now push onto this and let the heel push you up further up yes push the heel up and resist with the hand this is the posture this is the arm balancing posture yes all right good so now it does not matter how mobile you are or how mobile you're not if that's in your head it does not matter because the positioning of the balance is like this it is up it is not low as we were practicing like this so this position needs a lot of hip mobility but this position does not need a lot of hip mobility if you can see so in this place you're going to get your figure four okay find your forward four and don't let your hip down let your knee down so that your hip is still up stacked up okay and what you're going to do is you'll have a pillow in front of you and you will keep a block i'll take the softer block right behind me like this okay once you place this get into your preparation you drop your feet onto this block so you can find this balance just by the support and you know what it feels to be on the block and then you slowly try to lift off the block okay so let's try this let's do it together first right leg up bend your knee keep a block next to your feet drop your hands down shift the weight onto the hands yes drop your knee onto the block and try to lift your heel off the floor you'll have to do slight adjustments here and there to find what you're actually looking for in this balance and once you got that slowly try to shift the weight ahead and try to see if you can go off the block yes don't let the hip come down if the hip comes down the weight goes furthermore low onto the floor then it becomes harder let the hip stay as up as you can let's do the second side left leg up into figure four drop your hands down Hook the ankle onto the forearm, the tricep, shift your weight on the block slightly, lean ahead, keep your toes flexed, see if you can lift your feet off the block and then slowly balance. Alright, it's okay. If you cannot fly today, it's okay if you're still on the block. The idea is to experience this new posture. Once you're done with it, let's come up to seated. Let your arms relax and breathe. This posture is absolutely not a beginner posture but the class is as such that even if you're a beginner it does not matter you have to be open to trying achieving is not the goal today achievement is not the agenda of the class the idea is to explore these new practices
all right this time we're going to try it one one time each last time without the blocks around you so it's okay if you're still on the floor you have to try to keep going ahead make sure you have a pillow in front of your face so that you feel secured while trying this posture okay let's come ahead stand up we start with figure four on the right leg slowly lower your hands down bend your knees As you reach here, you hop your supporting leg away from you. Lean ahead as much as you can and try to see if you can go off the floor. The idea is to try. Push into the leg as much as you need. If you fall, it's okay. Be open to trying. Today is just about trying. If you are familiar with this posture, go for the full version of it. And slowly release. Release both the legs. Come down into Malasan. Breathe. Let your arms relax. All right, let's go for the second side. Stand up again. There are a lot of you who can directly enter into this posture from the floor, but I want you to build habit to do it from the steps. Left leg into figure four, forward folding, keeping the knees bent. As I drop my shin on the hands, I hop my feet back slightly so there's more space to go ahead. And then I try to lift up the feet. Keep trying. Once you're done, you can come into Malasin. Keeping your hands relaxed, hanging and flopping down to the floor. Just roll out your wrist slightly, outwards, <coughs> roll out your wrist the other way around, good, just flex it back, flex it front, back, front, back, front, back, front and back. Right. Slowly sit down onto the floor. Take your legs away. Drop both the knees to the right side. Drop your elbows down. And just stay. If you enjoy dropping your head back, it's a choice. Or you can keep the chin to chest. Chain sides. Slowly come back up. We're going to do a little shoulder stretch. So you're going to turn your palms facing towards your hips. And from there, walk your hips ahead. Bend the elbow. Let the shoulder feel the stretch.
slowly extend come back up you can use a block under your hips to sit up straight we'll go for pranayam sit up nice and tall eyes close body relax The first pranayam that we're going to start with is Bhastrika. Okay, so the first pranayam is Bhastrika. Bhastrika is arms sticking up and exhale, pulling it down, making a fist. Okay, so close your eyes. Inhale, take your arms up and make a fist. Inhale, exhale. Aggressive exhalation, aggressive inhalation. Let's do it together with me. your hands observe natural breath Second round, 20 strokes. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, begin. Naturally. Inhale completely. Hold your breath. Breathe naturally. Going for last round, 20 strokes again. Inhale, arms up. Begin. Inhale completely, keep your chest and shoulders relaxed and hold the breath. Breathe naturally. for alternate nostril breathing from your right hand in Vishnu Mudra, left hand in Chin Mudra, left hand on your lap, right hand blocking the right nostril from the thumb, inhale from the left, making sure your shoulders are relaxed, elbows is relaxed, change the nostril and exhale from the right, inhale from the right, change the nostril, exhale from the left. 
we're going to continue this but with a count inhale for four counts change exhale for six counts inhale for four three two one change exhale six five four three two one inhale four three two one change exhale six five four three two one inhale four three two one change exhale six five four three two one inhale keep going change inhale change exhale inhale change exhale inhale change exhale Change exhale. Relax the hands. Keep your eyes close. Hands in Shin Mudra. And observe your breath. We'll be doing same alternate nostril breathing with breath retention now. Same thing, right hand in Vishnu Mudra. Inhale from the left. One, two, three, four. Hold the nostril. Both nostrils are blocked. Hold it for six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale the nostril. Exhale from the right nostril for six, five, four, three, two, one. One, inhale from the same nostril. One, two, three, four. Block the nostril. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Four, three, two, one. Block. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Six, five, four. Three, two, one. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Block. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax the hands. Observe natural breath. Slowly lie down onto your spine, let your body relax, take your time, don't disturb the space of the body. Make any adjustments that you want, after this there's no movement, just stillness. Chin relax, palms facing upwards and now stay still here.
very gently bring awareness back in your whole body softly move your fingertips and your toes slowly turn your head slightly towards the left side slightly towards the right side keeping your eyes closed stretch your palms above your head interlace them and give a good stretch out slowly turn towards a comfortable side bend your knees and push through the palms come up to seated position sit up nice and tall eyes closed observe your body join your palms at heart center and let's chant one om shanti inhale om shanti 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 give yourself a good nice hug tell yourself good job pat your back for being so amazing and slowly take your time to open your eyes thank you so much for joining me in this session and i really hope you had an amazing time let me know how it went for you and i look up to seeing you in the next video have a good day bye bye